Hello everyone, welcome you all in my YouTube channel. This is the second video of the series CSA exam. Coming towards CSA exam topics, we have total five topics. And the topics are user interface and navigation, collaboration, database administration, self-service and process automation, and intro to scripting and application tools. Coming towards question, what is dictionary override? Options are, option A, dictionary override is an incoming customer update in an update set which applies to the same object as a newer local customer update. Option B, dictionary override is the addition, modification or removal of anything that could have an effect on IT services. Option C, dictionary override is a task within the workflow that requests an action before the workflow can continue. And option D, dictionary override sets field properties in extended tables. And the correct option would be option D, dictionary override sets field properties in the extended tables. Next question, Record numbers have to be manually incremented. This statement is true or false. So obviously this statement is false because they are automatically incremented. Next question. ServiceNow is a single instance, multiple tenant architecture. So it, it is also false statement because ServiceNow is a multiple instance, multiple tenant architecture. Next question. Which of the following concepts are associated with ServiceNow CMDB? And we have to select four. So options are option A, service processes, option B, user permission, option C, tables and fields, option D, database, and option E, dependency view. So correct four options are option A, service processes, option C, tables and fields, option D, database, and option D dependency view next question ui policy can make fields read only mandatory or hidden so this statement is true because we have only three ui policies that's our ui that's our read only mandatory and hidden next question what are the two aspects of ldap integration options are Option A, data population. Option B, data formatting. Option C, authorization. And option D, authentication. So the correct options would be option A, data population. And option D, authentication. Next question, buttons, form links, and context menu items are all examples of what type of functionality? Option A, business rule. Option B, UI action. Option C, client script. Or option D, UI policy. So the correct option would be UI actions because UI action contains buttons, form links, and context menu items. Next question, which of the following statement is a recommendation from ServiceNow about the update sets? Options are, option A, avoid using defaulter update set as an update set for moving customization from instance to instance. Option B, before moving customization from instance to instance with update sets, ensure that both instances are different version. Option C, use baseline update set to store the contents of the item after they are changed for the first time. Option D, once an update set is closed, as complete, change it back to in progress until it is applied to another instance. So the correct option would be option A, avoid using default update set as an update set for moving customization from instance to instance. Next question, what are the four knowledge workflows available in ServiceNow base instance? Options are option A, Approval publish, option B, instance publish, 
option C, instant retire, and option D, retire knowledge. So the correct four knowledge workflows that are available in ServiceNow base instance are approval publish, request approval from a manager of the knowledge base before moving the article at the publish state. Next question, which three variable types can be added to a service catalog item? Option A, true, false, multiple choice and order. Option B, true, false, checkbox and number list. Option C, number list, single line text and reference. Option D, multiple choice, select box and checkbox. So the correct option would be multiple choice, select box and checkbox.